Uh, hello everybody, welcome to the Q&A recording of the film Behind the Headlines, playing as part of the 12th European Union Human Rights Film Base. Uh, I'm here with Daniel Sager today. Hi Daniel, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you Thank for having me. And thank you for joining us today and welcome. Uh, first of all, I just want to give some information about Daniel. He is a film director, journalist and producer. He has directed cinema and TV documentaries in Iraq, Iran, South Sudan, Kenya, Mexico and other countries. In his films, Daniel brings personal stories with deep political context by means of unconventional imagery to life. His gen genuine affinity with people coupled with a mature grasp of narrative has led the individual handwriting and films of cinematic style. For his films, Daniel has received international awards. So do you want anything to add maybe, Daniel, or is it okay? Um, no, I think it's okay, yeah. Okay, great. So we can start to, to talk. Uh, first of all, can you just give a little information about your documentary behind the headlines for the audience who not still don't didn't watch it? Yeah, so um, my documentary Behind the Headlines is uh, a film about the investigative editorial of the Süddeutsche Zeitung, that's uh, one of the biggest newspapers of Germany. Uh, and uh, I followed the journalists uh, of this uh, editorial for about two years. Um, and yeah, in the film, you can you can see how they do investigations um, and uh, yeah, also how they um, have one um, big impact in Austria, which uh, is that they toppled um, the the government through a research. Yeah, and as, investigation. And in your documentary, they're talking about especially Daphne Galicia, right? She's one of the uh, uh, journalists who was investigating a case, and she was killed. Uh, because of that. So can you give a little information about her? Yes, uh, Daphne Caruana Galizia was um, Maltese um, journalist who um, worked um, also with the Panama Papers and she okay. researched um, like um, economical, uh, about economically, uh, economically stories uh, and also political stories and uh, she was um, polarizing um, the Maltese people, actually. There were many people who were against her, but also people who supported her. Um, and uh, she was killed, uh, assassinated uh, with a car bomb, actually. Yeah, and she was investigating Panama Papers, and there are lots of governmental uh, issues, subjects out right. there, so they didn't want her to live, actually, right? So they yeah. assassinated her. And and in your uh, documentary, we see that still it, it's an issue that still doesn't really resolve, right? They still uh, don't know exactly who did it. So uh, the, the the journalists are investigating uh, the events and trying to find who did it, right? Yes. Uh, yes, because um, the protagonists of the film, they also knew Daphne. Um, so, yeah, they, they also felt like um, they had the feeling that's a must, that they have to do it. And they cooperated um, with a group of journalists um, who, um, um, who call themselves Forbidden Stories. Uh, they are journalists from the New York Times, from The Guardian, from Le Monde. Um, and they group up all together to, to get as many informations about it as possible and had afterwards a big publication all over the world about the case. Yeah, and throughout this documentary, we also see that uh, they uh, started to investigate a new road, and it's about the Austrian chancellor, right? And uh, they just come um, come across with another source and about the um, Austrian chancellor who has been uh, not doing his work in the right way and all uh, politically. Uh, there were lots of problems. So can you also talk about that too? What did they found and how did they encounter with this subject? Yeah, during our work on the film, we were really lucky because a whistleblower, an Austrian whistleblower, um, gave um, a secret uh, video um, to the ed editorial of the newspaper. 
Um, so we were able to cover the story from the very beginning on, from um, how, how how they um, yeah how they got this information and how they prepared everything and uh, investigated to um, yeah to publish these informations. And uh, the video shows the vice chancellor of Austria um, how how he um, assumed that he would be fine with um, be corrupt. Um, yeah. so yeah, and then, yeah, this is, this is, um, they, um, the journalists, they, um, try to, um, um, verificated this, um, this video with a, f um, special, uh, um, um, technical, um, yeah, speci specialist who, um, yeah, agreed that this is a real video and um that the persons um is are really the persons uh, who who they um assume to be so um and at the end um they publish it and just 48 hours later the whole government uh, stepped down yeah, and also the government tried to uh, accuse them of invading their privacy, but uh, they do it in such professional way that uh, they cannot do that. And uh, also the law is uh, supporting them, just saying that uh, it's not a crime because uh, they uh, protect the interest of public. So, yeah, I mean... Because... Uh, mm -hmm. Because it's uh, forbidden to... The, the video was um, recorded secretly, what is forbidden... Um, and if you publish this, this, this is also normally a criminal act. But yeah. because this was for um, that was from, from this big um, um, interest for the public, um, it was allowed to break uh, the the law in this case. Yeah, and uh, what I loved about this that it show this documentary about is it shows the power of uh, legislation and journalism. I guess the right right kind of legislation and journalism can change everything and affect everything. I mean, we, maybe if this happened in another country, uh, which uh, the laws are not as much as powerful and conducting in the right way, it wouldn't. It would just go out completely in a different way. But in here we see that because of the right um, conducting of laws and also the journalism, uh, it can uh, impact in a really good way and be resolved in a really good way, right? Can, do you want to say anything about that, about the journalism? You met with yeah, all I those mean, journalists. The, the journalists are the political watchdogs of uh, society. So, um, and uh, this was the luck about this special case that we really could witness uh, how that work and that a good combination of a free press and um, a good working law system can uh, change, uh, can make change in a country which is uh, in the interest of uh, everyone who lives there. Um, so... Uh, yeah, it's really a great value um, for for every individual um, of the state. Yeah, it was a great example of that. I mean, really, I was fascinated by it because, like I said, it, it won't happen this way in many, many countries. Yeah, and, unfortunately. Yeah, and how, how I just want to uh, just go b back to the beginning, how you decided to do this documentary and how you uh, met with all these people and how you uh, planned this documentary. Can you give us information about that sure. also? Um, so as I had, um, as I started to work on this film, that was, um, the first legacy of Trump. Um, and I had like many discussions with people in my environment about, um, fake news, but of course also about journalism and, um, how does the media work? And I recognized that people, um, that many people also friends of mine do, do not really know how journalists work. Hmm. Um, and, yeah, this is this is why I did this film because I wanted I wanted to show, um, yeah, how, how do journalists work and that you really can witness that that they're not just talking about it that you are, um, yeah, that that I my aim was to bring the audience to the this uh, situations where um, where everything happened. And, um, but at the beginning, of course, I didn't know what would the stories be they were yeah, work, working course. on. So this was like during the process, um, 
um, the different stories popped up and um, but the idea was just to follow like um, how, how, how do they work. Yeah, I think that's the beauty of the doing a documentary, right? You you cannot really plan all ahead, and sometimes there are surprises and spontaneous events, and in a way you adjust to them while you yeah. uh, continue to uh, shut your documentary. I think that's the beauty of it in a way, and also like you said, I think you give a really great example of journalism in the documentary. We can just see how systematically they work day by day, and uh, it's also a great example of how to to be a really, really good journalist. So in many ways, in many ways, the documentary is, I think, uh, a kind of documentary that many people should see. Uh, so it was really, really also uh, great to talk with you. And do you want to add Thank anything you. else about uh, the, your process? Um, about the process, um, yeah. I mean, I, I work on a, on another film about journalism. Actually, we are just uh, right now in the editing room. Oh. Um, but uh, yeah, because I still think that it's a very important topic, and um, we also come to uh, a time where like informations are used um, more and more between different political parties between countries. Uh, and yeah, life and uh, sharing of information got so fast. So um, the role of journalists will be even more important in the future. And yeah, this is why I still keep on working in, in this setting. And also there are lots of platforms. So I think it's really important to, uh, to get the right kind of news, right? I mean, there is yeah. lots of pollution. So uh, in so many ways, we can also just address to a really, really wrong kind of news. Uh, we, it's really important to get uh, the right news, to reach out to right news. So I think... Uh, journalism and also uh, people like you who are reflecting all these processes are really come really important in that case so we can yeah. reach the right kind of news right yeah because when uh, when we i mean a normal uh, citizen don't have the time to fact check everything what pops up every day you know so this is yeah. and um, and this is the profession of of journalists and um, this is what also I think will get more important in the future, like the fact checking part of many things which are going on. Um, so yeah, we a free society depends also on um, free journalism. Yeah, and also it's really important for a director to write before starting your documentary. You probably did a lot of research and a lot of fact checking. Yeah, yeah before just starting to shoot it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Daniel, uh, for joining us uh, today. And I hope the audience uh, will be able to reach uh, to your film through our festival. And uh, yeah, me too. yeah, I hope uh, we can see a lot more do your documentaries in future. Thank you. Uh, and have a great festival. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.